we're not going to try to displace it. That would be a different type of technique, and one we typically don't want to use. We want the projection going not over here off center, because if I were to do this and he were to relax and yield, okay, my projection's here, his projection's off center. Sean and Drake here for another edition of Kung Fu Secrets, where we help you take your martial arts to the next level. Make sure you watch all the way to the end, where we help put some extra kick in your punch. Welcome back. All right, today we are going to learn the lethal butterfly palm technique. Well, why lethal? Well, all Kung Fu techniques are potentially lethal, but the butterfly is kind of an interesting technique because, like, the butterfly is like a really small, light animal that, like, you know, one, one hit and you can squish it. So, but they don't take that part from the animal. What they do is they take the lightness and the paired movement from the animal. So the butterfly is seen not only in hand movements, but it's also uh, a term that's used for the paired weapon, so especially like Wing Chun or Fuji and White Crane, uh, Hungar, uh, the paired uh, single-edged sabers, the shorter ones, are called butterfly swords, so butterfly uh, knives. So the concept is using the hands in a pair. One of the critical things for the butterfly movement is the rotation and then a strike. Now classically, if he's just standing there like they do in the movies, classically, the strike is shown like this to the body. So here or here. So all right, so it's really just a double palm strike. What makes it the butterfly is not so much the shape, so this kind of paired shape. The butterfly palm is a double palm strike, it can strike like this, it doesn't have to be completely 90 degrees. What makes it butterfly actually is the lightness in the application. So we're not gonna hit this. If, if we encounter the arm, this is going to fold over. It's not, we're not gonna try to displace it. That would be a different type of technique and one we typically don't want to use. We want the projection going not over here off center because if I were to do this and he were to relax and yield, okay, my projection's here, his projection's on center. So what I want to do is go around this, right? And then drive in and strike. So go around this, drive in and strike, all right? You can try that. That's right, stay down. Good, all right, now, one of the problems you might run into is that he's really strong, stronger than you, and he's holding a guard. You're not, you're not going to be able to so easily deflect him. So what do you do? Move your body. Move your body offline, which is really the best thing to do. You don't want to stand there anyway, because you're assuming it's just going to be empty hands, something you can handle. Whenever you have a projection, move offline and strike. Now, in this case, you might have the ribs, but the other hand is here checking the shoulder. So I'm not going to leave that shoulder open. I come in and then get hit with that. So if I'm here, here, strike. If I go higher to the head, which I would prefer, keep the elbow down to cover that line. All right. So now what I want you to do Use your footwork to step aside. Yeah, yeah. Step aside. All right. Okay. Good. Hey there. Sean and Drake back again. You get value out of the training? If so, dastate that like button. Subscribe to the channel so you get all our latest videos. And ring that bell for the patient, but don't actually do that to your friend. We're talking about the computer thing. Okay, so when they start moving, when they start moving around you, right? Okay, you can move around that. Same thing. 
Okay. And so who's going to win? Well, that's going to be the person with the best sensitivity. So when you practice the butterfly uh, animal or the techniques from the butterfly uh, animal, you want to be relaxed, very much like Tai Chi. So stiffness in the shoulders is going to cause you to get bound up. So he's still pretty stiff in the shoulders. So here, so go ahead and do it. Yep. See this elbow up here needs to be down. Right. So he's using so much pressure outside because of the stiffness here that I can sense that he's about to do it. Right. So if he were to, yeah. So if he relaxes, it's a lot harder for me to read that energy and then respond. Go. So if he's stiff. Relatively easy to read it. If he can relax and do it, no, 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 we lost. <laughs> you, did, you, you still have to do this because you have to control that arm. So what he did was he lifted the elbow. All right. Go. This is better. Okay. So butterfly, very light energy in the transition. But when you hit, hit with the whole body. It's hard then. So. That's so why it's character, it's oftentimes seen uh, uh, in Southern Shaolin, uh, in Tiger. Okay, so it's soft, and then when they hit, it's quite hard for the hit. So, a couple of key things, actually several butterfly related moves. Uh, this is the most famous one, right? Any questions? Nope. All right, so if you have questions, drop them in the comment below. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. If you want to learn more lineage secrets with my dad, Chifu Shan to you, click the link below.